So in this case, we have Stefani who's moved to Oklahoma during COVID-19 for whatever reason she thinks it's a safer location. She can live on bigger acreage. But what's happening is her ex, Gavin Rossdale, is not getting the kind of custody he really, really wanted and is really ordered. And there are guys right now that are watching the exact same situation, whether they live in the same city, they live in the same state, or they live in different states because of COVID-19. And so this is a really great example. Guys are asking right now, Diana, when is it really uh, legal for someone to deny their spouse under a court order, their ex-spouse, you know, court-ordered custody? When is it appropriate? And uh, really, what can they do uh, to enforce their rights? It's not legal to deny any custody in parenting time. As long as there is a court order, that court order is in place until there is a new court order or a written agreement. So at this point, she can't and she shouldn't be denying them any custody or parenting time. What I would suggest for any clients that are going through the same thing is to immediately file a motion with the court. I actually have a case right now, and it's two different states. It's Pennsylvania and New Jersey, where mom in New Jersey has denied parenting time to dad, stating that Pennsylvania is seeing an increase in cases. Again, unless there's a reason or the dad has the virus or there's people in the house that have the virus, there is no reason to deny that parenting time. And what I've seen courts be very, very strict with that saying, unless there's an actual reason, unless it's in the best interest of the children not to see the parents, this is not the time to be taking away parenting time. In fact, I've had a judge say that, especially in New Jersey, one of the only stay at home executive orders is that you can go see immediate family members and they are considering children to be immediate family members.